Hello, what is Dadas here? Today I have a rare opportunity to look at really cool product which is not coming out of my own pocket. And today we're going to look at Corsair top of the line power supply in a gold certified category named RMI series. In this particular video I'm going to use this RM750i which was provided by Canada Computers and Corsair Canada. And if you guys can help me out Please link on the Canada Computers weekly specials. If enough of you will do so, I will have opportunity to choose more cool stuff to look at and give you some interesting insights about it. But now let's look closely at Corsair 750i that we have right here. Some of people consider this i-series as a replacement for RM series, which is not entirely correct. I confirmed with Corsair that RM i-series will be absolutely new line of product, which will be on the top line of any gold certified models, while RM series will con continue to go its course on its own. So this is not a replacement, this is a new product that we have. And it has a few additional advantages over traditional RM series. The most notable thing about this RMI series is a whopping 7 year warranty. It means that computer enthusiasts who are going to use this model will be able to use this power supply at least in two generations of their builds. Less impatient people probably can even squeeze three generations, but I would say probably most of us will change computers about three years range and that means that computer power supply can be easily used at least twice which is good investment not often happened in a computer related hardware scenery the second thing that is also is interesting about this power supply that we getting into the digital variation of the gold certified model we have a digital link in the basic edition we will be able to switch between multi-rail which is comes by default to single rail mode it's also running in a fully silent operation so the your fan can be off most of the time which is nice and it's uh, important for many of us guys and finally it's a little bit less expensive than platinum series which means that a lot of people out there will be looking into this model quite serious and that's the reason why i think that looking into details on this model will make a lot of sense Speaking about models lineup, we're looking at four models, which is down from a six models that we had at RM series. So Corsair cut out all lower end models. So 750 like this is recommended for single GPU setup, while 1000 model obviously can be used for SLI or Crossfire type of configuration. Inside of the box we have a traditional set of parts that we expect from any power supply which is the manuals, bag with cables and power cord as well as uh, zip ties to manage your cables inside of the case and actual power supply in a nice bag that looks like something as a watch so if you buy a high-end watch you have a similar type of thing and this is the power supply. There's a few things that computer modder and enthusiast would be looking at. First of all, the fan that used on the power supply. This is an oversized 135 millimeter fan, which means it can slow spin and produce less noise while providing the same amount of airflow as a power supply with a smaller 120 millimeter fans. Definitely welcome thing. Second thing that the gray unassuming color is good and will fit the majority of the color schemes that potential motor would be using and the same note we're seeing that very unassuming gray or would i say even silver and black 
type of label that also will be interfere less with majority of the builds. It's not the first time that I'm using Corsair power supply myself in my own builds, but I was always removing labels on the side of power supply because, for example, you build a blue computer and you have orange label or opposite you have a blue label but you build a red computers and totally annoying thing to have so this type of label is probably the best bet if you don't want to deal with the label removal because probably it will be going along with majority of the builds out there Similar tone down look we have on the back of power supply with the same unintrusive type of label, black mesh will be going well with the majority of black cases on the market, which is nice. And finally connectors area. This is, has a two functional areas right there, one and two. First one is related to digital link connectivity and test button for the fan. So if you're worried that your fan is not spinning and you think it's dead or something, you can press a button and it's uh, verify that fan is not dead. It's just your power supply so efficient. And the second area is the four modular connectors itself. This is 750i model, which is a mid range for this particular series. If we would have a 1000 model, uh, what model so we had extra row of cables right here so we can have uh, extra gpus and stuff like this let's now act as a typical motor and void our pressure seven year warranty and peak inside of the power supply internals looks absolutely unbelievably clean there is even black circuit board so it's nothing intrusive is uh, sticking out of the power supply even if you look through the mesh on the back all rmi series now features 100 percent of japanese capacitors they are much higher quality is also rated in a higher temperature rating and uh, you can see that there are no dingling wires that sometimes you see inside of the power supply even some odd wires that are multiple low gauge wires are sleeved so it's absolutely safe to transport such power supply and uh, LAN parties and things like this uh, this is a really neat looking power supply it was a while since i opened power supply to mod it, it was a couple years ago and it looks absolutely Absolutely different so this is look like a high-end electronic device not just uh, some transformer so to speak just look at comparison of uh, this RMI 750 and my Cougar 850 models that I got just a couple years back that's what I mean when I'm saying that uh, one is look like high-end electronic device and another one just looks like a regular transformer with a bunch of coils inside so you can see the difference between two is quite pretty obvious Modern review for this power supply wouldn't be complete if we talk about the cables supplied with this model uh, or this series. There's a two type of cables inside of the bag that you get with the power supply. One type of cables is those cables that goes into connection for motherboard, GPUs and CPU power. So this is a single sleeved wire so when you have all wires sitting inside of one big sleeve the sleeving itself is okay it's high density sleeving but it's not individually sleeved wire which is most of uh, custom modding people is after those days you can give a credit to corsair at least to use all black wires so it's not multicolored cables which is a big improvement already but it's still not the top of the line that a lot of people would like to see in their custom builds. Second set of cables that you also have in this bag is a traditional ribbon, simple ribbon cables for all peripherals that connected to your power supply. Those type of cables we see in Corsair power supply since forever. And they pretty ugly to be honest. But again, if you don't care, it will do job for you and it's okay. But for people who would like to build really custom high-end cases, they probably would like single sleeved wires. And there's a few things what you can do to improve the situation. First, you can buy pre-sleeved set of wires that are available for majority of power supply around for Corsair. I wouldn't, wasn't be able to find specific confirmation that such models exist for this latest models, but you can see AX, RM, and a bunch of other models have those cables. There's a few drawbacks about that as well. First of all, limited number of colors for obvious reasons. So black, white, blue, green, all covered, but nothing more than that. 
Second, those cables come with predefined length. So if you have a big enough case and you can hide extra cables be behind motherboard tray, it's okay. But if you have a micro ATX, really tight build, uh, or open type of case, this could be a problem because you have extra cables digging around and you actually are looking for custom lengths. Well, if it's worst case scenario, well guys, there are no other ways than to make your own cables. With that, you, again, you can have a couple of approaches. One, you can do cables from the scratch yourself and just try to copy what you already have. Second, some people trying to resleeve existing cables and you just pull cables out of a connector and you sleeve it and put it back and trying to avoid any mistakes. Regardless anything, my strong recommendation to have a power supply tester. So when you um, try your sleeved cables, make sure you do it right and check it with tester. Second, I'd like to give you some feedback on the cables that are coming with this particular model. So I already unsleeved this motherboard cable and usually, you know, the biggest problem with majority of approaches when you try to re-sleeve existing cables is that those cables quite often have additional extra components. And you can see right here that you have a bunch of capacitors attached to those cables. So resleeving existing wire wouldn't be the best approach or you have to cut out all those um, additional components. Also, I would like to note, it, note that this uh, wire that used in this particular cabling, it's relatively soft, so it will be hard to put sleeve on it. Also, because it's soft and wouldn't be hold the whatever shape you're looking after. So it will be hard to organize this nice way. So my recommendation would be for anybody who going to extreme with this excellent power supply. Otherwise, I would suggest to rebuild cable from the scratch, use relatively rigid wire, not reuse those wires that comes with the power supply and test everything after with a tester and then you really ready to go with excellent custom build with exact lens with really fancy color scheme you after whatever your fantasy or your imagination you take to all right guys well this is a great power supply i definitely would be considering it for my own builds and hopefully maybe we actually get a couple more powerful models that we can use in a couple upcoming projects that i'm working on I also would like again to thank you Corsair and Canada Computers for providing this uh, sample free of charge for me. It was really fun to look at and I definitely was surprised uh, and pleased with this new model. I, I can recommend it to you. For all Canadian viewers, you can get this model at sale at Canada Computers. Check out links in description. For everybody else, you still can get this power supply from your local retailer and I wholeheartedly recommend this well-built model and hopefully you can use it in your next water cold build and so we can share pictures on our forum in our Facebook. Thank you very much and looking forward to see you soon with my next video.